laboratories here at Oakland University. I would like to take this time to welcome you to Oakland University and into the School of Nursing. The journey that you are about to take is going to change your life and is awesome. I'm excited for all of you. The field of nursing is expanding and growing and is exciting. And as you can see in today's times and world, it plays a vital part in our health system. And it is an exciting time to grow and to learn. our health assessment lab in the human health building. This room is kind of set up like a doctor's office or a clinic. And what we teach here and what we learn here is health assessment. Now, under normal circumstances, we are examining one another. Um, unfortunately, now with COVID, we are unable to do that, but we have replaced it with wonderful technology and a wonderful experience. So the students, after they leave this class, have a very good understanding and a good command of health assessment. You can see on the walls, the equipment is there just like you would find in a doctor's office. Um, so we tailor our education in this room to the level in which you are. This class in here takes place for undergraduates in the first semester of their sophomore year. And that is where your first nursing classes, physical assessment and so forth will start to take place. called the therapeutics lab and that's just a fancy name for skills lab. This is where students come in in their sophomore year, second semester, and they learn the basic skills that a nurse will take with them throughout their entire career. We start out teaching in this room anywhere from how to take a blood pressure, how to make a bed, how to give someone a bath, all the way up to the advanced skills of injections, medications, IVs, as you can see, and also tracheostomy suction. Always. So the more advanced skills, but these are skills that a nurse will use for her or his entire career. So it all starts as a fundamental class in this lab. So our mannequins, and actually these um, just celebrated their first year birthday with us, um, they now have pulses everywhere. They can talk, you can hear lung sounds, breath sounds, belly sounds. If you want, we can put fluids in, so when you insert that full, you'd actually see some urine coming out. So they're pretty advanced. Other things that we do in this room is we have what's called an open lab. An open lab is a time that we offer the students a couple times a week to come in and practice whatever they want to practice. We also staff not only with faculty, but we staff with student workers who are upper class. So they've sat where you sat not too very long ago. And it is a wonderful resource that we offer because a lot of students come into open lab just to kind of talk and talk to the students, talk to the faculty. How do I study? How do I do this? Help me to be organized. And it's a real benefit to the students that we offer. It also gives us a, an idea and a kind of a, a, a know of how and what your needs are so that we can meet your needs and that you can be successful. Um, it's a little bit more laid back of an environment. So students are very relaxed to come in, tell us what's on their mind and we can sit and chat and we can help you through whatever you need to be helped with or if you just want to talk to somebody. Welcome to the simulation lab. This is truly a crown jewel in the School of Nursing, all the laboratories, and we're very, very proud of it. But you'll get an idea of what goes on down here and of what the mannequins that we have will be different from what you saw in the previous labs. And I'll explain to you a little bit about the classes that we'll rotate through here. So as we come into our first room, what you're seeing right now is set up as an adult room. We do change rooms back and forth as to what we're studying for the day. It can be a pediatric room, it can be a baby room, it can be an adult room. So we do move the mannequins around as to suit the needs for the class that's being taught. 
What you can see here in this room, you'll see beds, monitors, IVs. Those are all the same things that you'll see when you get into your clinical setting. And it really does help because now you're familiar with the equipment, you know how to use the equipment. So when you get into the hospital, that's one less thing that you don't have to learn. Every class that has a clinical component, you will have a simulation time schedule. We have a simulation coordinator and we have facilitators that are faculty that help run the simulations. And really they have put together a wonderful program that just accentuates what you're learning here in the School of Nursing. So as we move down the hall a little bit, what you're gonna see here is what we call the control room. And the control room allows for the facilitator to watch what's going on in the simulation rooms. Now we can see the students doing their job, but they can't see us. So that also helps lend itself to a real situation where you are functioning as the nurse, and then you don't see the facilitators, so you're kind of on your own, but in a safe environment. If you make a mistake, that's okay, you'll learn from it, we discuss it after the simulation, and we move on, and you remember, and it just accentuates more of your education. As we come into this room here right now, it's not being used at this time because again of our COVID regulations, but you can see we have babies and bassinets. We have a brand new Sim baby here in the crib. And this new baby, um, we got her about a year ago. And what's cool about her is all the computer parts are inside. So there's no wires, there's nothing hanging out. It's just really a, a wonderful piece of equipment and very high tech and up to date. And again, it is set up because the last simulation that we did had to do with adults. We have simulations for med surge, for psychiatric, mental health. We have OB, um, pediatrics, um, all the classes that you will have as a component in your education, there is a simulation for that. The room here is our birthing room and the mannequin that you see in there actually can deliver a baby. And what's cool about this is um, we can deliver her naturally or we can do a C-section. What they like about this room and what's really fascinating is when you're in OB, there are things that can go really wrong and can go bad. Fortunately, we don't see them that often, but we simulate them here. So when you are in the hospital and if by chance you happen to see something like a hemorrhage or a bad delivery, you will have already seen it here. The last room that we want to show you here is our NICU or our NICU. We have a preemie baby, we have an isolate with the baby. The Pixis machine here is a machine that we use um, to dispense medicine. It gives you still the experience of what it's going to be like when you get out there to go and get your medications from the storage machine that are on all the units. In this room, is where a lot of the education takes place. Debriefing is like the best part of simulation because what you do is you talk about your experience. You learn from it. Students are very active in the debriefing and they are guided by a simulator facilitator and you just talk about the experience. And that really helps you to pull it all together to learn maybe where you made mistakes, where you didn't make mistakes, the whole thing about simulation is a very safe environment. Every course now has simulation, so you're going to spend a lot of time down here once you get into that sophomore year. It's just a wonderful place to learn, um, and hopefully maybe someday you'll be a lab assistant and help us out working in the lab.